My name is Linda Michaels Gruber, and I'm a certified case manager and a licensed counselor. I have been providing case management services for over 30 years to individuals who have traumatic brain injury. And I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about case management. Case management is like putting a puzzle together. It's taking a look at an individual and helping assess what their needs are and what services they might need and helping them uh, look at what rehabilitation is in their future. Now as a person who may have been injured as a veteran, it may be hard for you to recognize what needs you have. It's very hard to know how a, a traumatic brain injury can impact on you when you are the person surviving it. But it is helpful to talk to family members, spouses, and we do that when we interview. The first thing we would do would be interview you and ask you certain questions to see if you've had any kind of significant changes. Those changes could include headache, vision loss, hearing problems, nervousness, um, symptoms of post-traumatic stress, startling, reacting to things, being afraid to be in a car, getting under a table if there's a thunderstorm, things that you might react to because of, this, of the uh, fear of something happening or something taking you back to the memory of what has happened to you. There are other things that um, may uh, change. Physically, you may have pain. You um, may um, psychologically feel a little more antsy, a little more emotional, maybe afraid, um, having difficulty explaining your feelings. You might see a change in your speech. You might find that you are unable to present your thoughts clearly. Um, you might think you are presenting your thoughts clearly, but you might hear from your wife or your husband or your mother or your father or a significant other or your children that you really aren't making sense and that might surprise you. But with traumatic brain injury, sometimes we don't have a good perception of how the injury has affected us. And that's why we do an interview not only with you, but we like to include the family. And so we would bring your family in and we would talk to the spouse and or parent uh, or older children and ask how they're seeing you different and if there have been changes. And pretty, pretty much when that puzzle gets put together, we see a person who probably has had a traumatic brain injury and physically you may not look like some of your, co your soldier um, uh, veterans. You may not have lost a limb. You may not be in a wheelchair. You may physically look like you're all together and that is very hard. Mild head injury is very hard because um, it, you can't see what's really going on with the brain from the outside. So it's very hard to get the attention and the services that you need. I assure you that if you've had this injury, that it is not in your head as far as you imagining it. It probably really is happening. And so it's very important that you seek case management. Case manager is going to help you get to the right people. One of the first things we would probably do is ask for a neuropsychological evaluation in conjunction with a physical evaluation. That neuropsychological evaluation will ask you a variety of questions about how you're thinking. It tells us how the brain is getting the message. It doesn't just tell us about your intellect, it tells us about your listening skills, about your vision skills, and all of those things are going to be important for us to help you. The reality is that having been injured in a trauma, you are not only physically and emotionally, psychologically and cognitively injured, but you are dealing with the adjustment injuries, issues as a soldier of returning home, trying to get back into the family, you may be a spouse who has been away from home. You have children that you have to get to know and adjust to. Your spouse has to adjust to you. You feel like you don't have anyone who understands you because your, your uh, veteran soldiers are not around you. So you feel like you're missing the support that's necessary. The Brain Injury Alliance of Michigan has been providing brain injury services for over 30 years and one of the best things that we do here is we connect you to people who have been through this and allow you to go to a support group in any city in Michigan and across the United States actually that you could connect with and your family could connect with. It really helps to be validate, validated, doesn't it? It helps when you know something is wrong with you for somebody to say, you know what, I see that. 
Well, we can show you right here where that's happening on this neuropsych testing. You're right. You're not getting the whole picture or you're not able to express yourself. Other assessments would probably occur also. You may have speech and language assessment to determine your expressive and receptive language, how you hear things and how you repeat them back. You will have physical therapy, possibly occupational therapy. You should see a physiatrist. A physiatrist is someone who looks at the whole body and manages the, the care that you will need physically and mentally and emotionally. You may need a psychologist to work with you to support you. Case management helps you look at the, all those parts and puts together the puzzle so that you can reach your optimal care. If you have not asked for those services um, through TRICARE or the uh, Veterans Association, ask them for a case manager. And you can go out into the community and get case managers under any particular state um, you can call the Michigan Brain Injury Alliance and ask them for their list of case managers. But I really encourage you to ask for help because the case manager is going to help you look at the picture. They will care about you and advocate for you, but they won't be so emotionally involved as you or your spouse will be in providing that care. So they can give you a real accurate decision of what they think you need and how to get it. And that would be the goal. I wish you good luck. Thank you.